and happy Wednesday, April 29th. Happy birthday to Caitlin King and Kiara Trepaner. If you are interested in a virtual prom, please sign up on the link that Miss Freeman sent you. And now let's go to the weather with Serena. Hey guys, welcome back to your Oriole weather. Today there is a high of 48 with a low of 42, but a 60% chance of rain. Tomorrow there's a high of 60 with a low of 39, and today's national day is National Denim Day. That's all I have from your Oriole weather. Back to Addy in the studio. Seniors, make sure you check your emails from Mr. Rasmussen. There's a lot of important things that you still need to fill out even though we are not in school. And now let's go to tea time with Becca and Caitlin. Hey guys, welcome back to your cup of Tuesday or Wednesday tea. Lifetime TV personality Ashley Ross, also known as Miss Minnie, passed away Monday night at approximately 10.30 p.m. in Atlanta after being involved in a hit-and-run car accident. Ross was one of the founding members of the show Little Women Atlanta, in which she starred in for five seasons. Gigi Hadid and Zayn from One Direction are expecting their first child together. They started dating in 2015 and broke up in 2018, but got back together shortly after. But they broke up for a second time in January 2019 and confirmed this year in February that they had gotten back together. She's supposedly 20 weeks along. That's it from your cup of Wednesday tea. Let's send it back to Hattie in the studio. If you are interested in a fall sport, make sure you fill out the Google form that Miss Will sent you by May 4th. It is very important so we know numbers and how to tell the coaches. And now let's go to the joke of the day with Mr. Forsyth. What do kids do when they can't play with a phone? <laughs> I, what do kids do when they can't play with the phone? I don't know what. Board games. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay, I have one for you. Okay. Uh, where do saplings uh, go to learn? Where do saplings go to learn? I don't know where. Elementary school. Elm. Elm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now you do another one. All right. What's the loudest kind of pet? The loudest kind of pet? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> A trumpet. A trumpet. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, where, when do bakers share their secret bread recipes? When do bakers share, I don't know, when? Bakers share their secret bread recipes. Um, only on a need to know basis. Need. Ah, uh, need, I get it. <laughs> hey kids, vote for me. All right kids, Funny. we decide, so send an email to Oriole TV and find out which was uh, funnier, me or this guy? This guy. Vote All right. me, vote me. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I hope everyone has a great day and we will see you on Friday. But first we have a segment from Miss Fox. So let's go to that. You're watching In the Kitchen with Mrs. Fox. Hey, Oriole Nation, you're in the kitchen with Mrs. Fox. Today we are going to make Funfetti cookies. So you can make all sorts of different kinds of cookies with cake mix. So to get started, make sure you wash your hands first. And all we need for ingredients is one box of cake mix. I'm using Funfetti today, but you could do chocolate, you could do strawberry, you could do lemon or vanilla, whatever you want. And I just have that in a bowl so it's ready to go. I need half a cup of vegetable oil and I need two eggs. So I'm gonna crack my eggs first into a container here. Always crack them into a separate dish before you put them in whatever it is that you're making. In case you get any shell in it, 
or anything else that shouldn't be in an egg and you don't want in whatever it is that you're making. And I like to crack them on a flat surface, on the flat counter, instead of on the edge. In case I crack a little too hard, then it doesn't slip onto the floor. So I'm just gonna put my two eggs and my oil in with my cake mix, and I'm just gonna mix it up. And make sure you mix it in all the way so it's nice and smooth. You don't have any um, eggs that you can see in it, and all of your powder from your cake mix is all the way mixed in. All right, and it looks like cookie dough. So what I have over here, I preheated my oven. It's heating up to 350 degrees. And I have a cookie sheet with some parchment paper on it. If you don't have parchment paper, you could just use a nonstick spray on your pan too. And I have a scoop that I'm going to use to scoop my cookies. And if you don't have a scoop, you can just use a couple of spoons also. I'm just going to scoop them on my pan. I'm going to make sure I leave some space between them because they'll probably spread out a little bit as they bake. So I'm going to put about six cookies onto this pan. It's kind of a small pan. And then before I bake them, I am going to put a few extra sprinkles on top because who doesn't like sprinkles? So if I was doing chocolate cookies, I would probably roll them in powdered sugar before and after I baked them. Let's just put a few, and these are springtime sprinkles. They might not look the greatest with all the crazy colors and the funfetti ones, but they're still gonna taste really good, right? Okay, so these go into the oven. So our friends over at FLC, you probably need a grown up or old, older brother or sister to help you with this. Bessie Allen and Horace Mann students, you should be able to do this on your own, but super simple. We're gonna put it into our oven for eight to 10 minutes. When you're given a range, when you're cooking anything, always start with the lowest number because you might need to add more time, but if you overcook them, then it's too late. And my oven just beeps, so it's ready to go in. So we're going to put these in a 350 degree oven. We're going to start with eight minutes. So our cookies are almost ready to come out of the oven. And I just wanted to share something with you real quick. I know everybody likes to eat raw cookie dough, but it's really dangerous for you. It's not so much the raw eggs because those are pasteurized. It's the raw flour that's in a lot of doughs and batters. That what is what makes it unsafe to eat. So please don't eat raw cookie dough. Um, because you could get really, really sick. And it's a real thing. It's not just me crushing your dreams. It's a real thing. So the timer's about to go off. I did set it for another two minutes. So it's taking a total of 10 minutes to get our cookies done. But look at how amazing these look. So we're gonna let them cool for just a minute on our pan. And then we're going to take them off and put them onto our cooling rack so they can cool and we can eat them. I hope you really like these Funfetti cookies or really any flavor of cookies that you choose to make with the cake mix. It's so easy and just a couple of ingredients. You've been in the kitchen with Mrs. Fox. We'll see you next time.